Welcome to Short Shifts. I'm Jeffrey J. Hu Lavecchio. My co-pilot on this magic carpet ride is the Christopher Ryan Topher Scott. Christopher Ryan Topher. Would I say Christopher Topher Ryan? Yeah. Okay. Well, Christopher Topher. You know, you guys know who I'm talking Let's about. Let's go. Topher. He's a little guy. We only got 10 minutes. Now we have nine minutes and 41 seconds. So tonight's topic, I wanted to think about something outside the box. I wanted to talk about how you tie your skates, you and just like everybody. Yeah, I wanted to get technical with this. Talk to a lot of skating coaches, all right? And I've heard their opinions over the last couple of years. I talked to my guys about this. In the locker room, I was always a guy looking around. I know you didn't care as much, but I'm a guy always looking around like, Oh, you're doing it that way. Well, if that way is better than mine, I want to try it. Not in a way where I wasn't confident in my own, but I was always like, is that a better, you know, does that hand, knob on a stick feel better in my hand the way, you know, that guy's a good shooter. Maybe I'll try that out in practice or something. I'm always tinkering, but I do think that there's a lot of advantage and disadvantages you can have in the way you tie your skates. So wanted to hear your thoughts on that. Have you ever talked to skating coaches about that? And uh, what you see around the locker rooms. Very interesting. Yeah. Uh, I'm the wrong person to ask this. I have, I'll have a kind of an opinion, but I'll let you go with this. If you've talked to like more people, the, the one thing that's much different from like when we were growing up versus kind of like the kids today is I feel like the ankles. Like, I feel like when we were growing up, it was like, make your ankles as tight as possible. Like <laughs> re- roll like an entire roll of tape around your ankles. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Like you, t- you take the tape and literally it's like, <laughs> my dad like did that 100%. 20 times around your ankles. And you had no movement in yep. your ankle, no ankle flexion where I think today and even the way skates are made, like they're putting a lot more room for that ankle flexion. Like when we were growing up skating, nobody ever talked about ankles ever um today they talk about ankles a lot and so that would be kind of like my only the other thing is is like i I guess we can talk about tongues in or tongues out yeah yeah Uh, dude that's everything i meant yeah okay so we're uh, so i was never a tongues in fan um i was always a tongue sorry i've never been a tongues out fan i always had my shin pad over my tongue rather than having my shin pad inside my tongue and that's just like that's just a feel. That's just a fit for, you know, everybody else. I don't know if there's any, honestly, like pro or con to having, having it in or having it out. But, um, I always had my shin pad over, over my tongue. And then um, as far as like how you tied your skates, did you tie them tight? Did you tie them evenly tight throughout? Did you tie the top hole? Did you not tie the top hole? Did you, I, I always tied the top have, hole or did you have like some give to it? I uh, always, I always, for me, it was just be comfortable. Like it didn't have to be super tight. I hated super loose, I guess. I never yeah. wanted it to be super loose because then I always felt like I didn't have balance. Uh-huh. But so you're kind yeah. of in the middle there. Like I just, just for me, it was just, tight. I mean, it was just be comfortable, just be yeah. comfortable. So it was like snug, if that yeah. makes any sense. I always went up to the top eyelet. I, I never left an eyelet out. I always felt like there was way too much ankle flexion if if the if I didn't go up to the top eyelet and I didn't feel like I had really good balance if I did that. So for me, it was just kind of simple. Tie it to what feels right, not yeah. too tight, not too loose. Yeah. Um, tie it to the top eyelet. Put my shin pad over my tongue, and um, put you your. Know? Put the back of your sock inside the skate. Don't keep it outside the skate. That's more of a style thing. I don't think that has anything to do with. Uh, <laughs> um, and then like I used to tie um, or I used to tape like the bottom of my shin pad around my skate. That's what we always used to do. But now nobody does that anymore. You tape the bottom of your shin pad around your skate. You did? I didn't know. I always thought you had loose bottom so, of your shin. So pad. some people did. I did until I got to like higher levels of hockey, and then I kind of stopped doing that. But like as okay. a kid, yeah, uh, we kind of did because again, like we were kind of taught like keep your ankle like really stiff inside uh-huh. the boot, uh-huh. and now it's it's kind of the opposite where they want the ankle to breathe a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Very I mean, interesting I- question. Yeah. Very well, interesting. Man, I I love anything to do with like like gear and like See, I'm the exact opposite. Yes. I'm the exact opposite, but I do feel like particularly when it came to sticks, that 
hindered me a little bit. I was always just like, yeah, just give me whatever stick. I, yeah. I like curves was important to me, but like flex and all yeah. the other what stuff. Model, that about now, yeah, it was yeah. Like whatever. Yeah. But yeah, now see, you actually figure out that 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 stuff's really important. Really important. You get, if it, you nerd out on this stuff, you can you can get a couple little more extra miles out of those tires. And maybe, I you know what I'm saying. I would have scored honestly. I would have scored a lot more goals had I put more thought into the stick that I was using. I was using a hundred flex synergy stick and out. cutting it down and a cutting lot. it down like half. <laughs> so for like me at five foot four, using a hundred flex stick is like a one ninety. Dude, and so I had, had a terrible shot. Like people always hockey. made fun of me for like having a muffin, and like it wasn't me; it was the damn stick. <laughs> I had no whip on my stick. Dude, I'm literally like in my head right now watching how you shoot the puck. Like when we were younger, you know, like college and stuff, and I'm like, holy crap! The way you shoot the puck makes so much sense that you were using a hundred. So now I know this is off topic. But we still got four minutes. Um, now, do you? When you use the new technology sticks, do you shoot differently? Do you lean into it? Is your shot? Yeah, harder? oh, totally, hundred percent. You have wow. to because if you go from a hundred flex to a sixty-five, yeah. you have to shoot differently. Your mechanics yeah. are all different. Yeah. So, Very anyways, cool. but this this is about tying your skates. Tying your skates. You brought it up, and you have talked to a bunch of people and are much more knowledgeable and tinker with this stuff more than me. So we got about three and a half minutes. What's so, what's your thoughts? Well, I like this topic. I thought of it because I think it can help multiple people. We've all seen the kids who are on the ice when they're young and their parents have not tied their skates tight enough or the kid can't tie their skates tight enough. Guys, this does matter. At least having the, the skate like fit properly and, and tighten properly, it does make a difference. Um, just from a, a, a strictly like mechanical standpoint if your skates aren't on like tight you can't drive as much power through your foot through the skate into the ice because your joints don't line up so if they're like bambi and super loose that's bad uh when i was younger i tied mine super tight way too tight looking back now um i wish that starting younger i would have tied my skates a little bit looser um throughout my whole career i went all the way up to the top hole until like my last three years of pro one of my teammates um taught me to go so on the third eyelet down i would skip the second highest eyelet go to the top eyelet outside in so oh, from I the very top dude i know I bet, a lot of people do that i, I bet I you don't would like love that. it if you got really? used to it because i like you tried going without the top eyelet at all and i felt floppy I felt way too much. I do think that maybe that might be the play if you start when you're young because you can change direction. So you skip quicker. the second, you skip the second eyelet. So, but, but because I wasn't comfortable doing that because I had never done it my whole career, I started skipping the second and then I would go outside in on the top eyelet because it just yeah. keeps it tight. My skates would always come loose undone. Um, come so fast. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so um and it allows you more uh flexion of that ankle dorsi flexion of that ankle where you can get deeper into your stride without feeling the wobbly shakiness yeah. of not doing the I'll top have to hole. try that the next time yeah it'll be goofed but like here's the other thing too guys if you tinker with your skates or anything you've got to skate with that style for like three to five skates it's going to feel weird the first yeah. time. It's going to feel a little bit less weird the second time. But you've got to try these things multiple times. Um, there were times where I did tape my shin pad to the tendon guard, but very lightly because I felt like that gave me a little stability in longer ranges of motion. Um, but I had the top hole, like I said, or the second hole undone, which gave me more shifting forward um, to drive more power through my stride. So you know, for me, guys, this is just something that like it's something you can think about. If you've never tried it, try it. See how you feel different ways. Just because you've been doing it this way for the last couple of years doesn't mean that's the best way. It doesn't mean it's the worst way. Also, a big piece of this comes down to personal comfortability, like Tove said. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a one size fits all thing, guys. Definitely like you got to be comfortable with what you do. Um, and maybe maybe we can get like a little YouTube tutorial from Vex. Yeah, dude, I will. I'll do a it. video. I'll do it. I'll do it for the old YouTube because I've talked to a ton of skating coaches about this and asking them, what are your thoughts on this? Where should guys be? How should they be doing it? And almost all of them are no top hole. 
almost all of them. Really? Yeah, huh. almost all of them. Be just because you get more ankle, you can bet get that knee over the toe, which allows you to drive more power. We only got 10 seconds left here, guys. I would love to hear what you guys are saying on the YouTube video. Go to our YouTube and uh, let us know what you do. Maybe we'll try some different styles for a YouTube video here. That's there all we go. got time for today. Share the Share show. The show.